So before you go into the comments and talk about how stupid I am or how I don't know anything about Dragon Ball, just understand first that this is only a hypothetical theory and nothing that I say will change that, nor does it really mean anything to the story that's been written. So yeah, just keep that in mind. I don't think you heard me. Hey, what's going on everybody, Matrox Gaming here, and welcome to today's video. Before we go on, I really just want to apologize for the lack of uploads. I've really just been kind of dealing with a couple of things, moving out of my dorm and then moving into a new house and everything, and yeah, just having to deal with a lot for the past few months. But I'm ready now, I'm back, and I'm here to bring you guys more videos. Now, I'm not going to really drag on the intro very much for this video, so let's just go on ahead and get right on into the topic. So we all know the real reason Goku didn't use Super Saiyan 3 against Vegeta, but if you live under a rock, allow me to explain. Goku was dead at the time, and he only had 24 hours to live on planet Earth for the World Martial Arts Tournament and nothing more, and if he were to use too much of his own power, that would heavily drain the amount of time that he had on Earth as shown when he fought Majin Buu for the first time. Also, he had stated to Vegeta much later in the Buu Saga that he couldn't risk using Super Saiyan 3 against Vegeta because it wasn't tested to its max, and therefore hadn't mastered it yet after Vegeta Vegeta had found out about Super Saiyan 3. However, let's assume that the time thing wasn't an issue and Goku agreed to use Super Saiyan 3 against them. Now that we summarized the reason Goku didn't use it, it should be quite obvious that Vegeta would have eventually won against Goku. And yeah, I get it. Vegeta cheated, he got a power boost by letting himself be controlled by Bobbity, but a win is a win and let's face it, since Goku intentionally held back, that's what really would have eventually costed him. People also like to say, well, they postponed the fight, so technically Vegeta didn't win. Sure, you can say that all you want, but once again, even if the fight had continued, Vegeta would have eventually beaten Goku. But add Super Saiyan 3 into the mix and take away the fact that Goku using too much power wouldn't drain the time that he had on Earth. That would mean Goku could fight Vegeta with little consequences, but would he really have won though? Now don't misinterpret it, Goku would have definitely been far stronger than Vegeta was, which of course in simple terms would mean he would have the advantage. But considering Goku hadn't mastered Super Saiyan 3 at that time, Goku winning could still be up for debate. One can actually debate that Goku still could have potentially lost to Vegeta, not because Vegeta was still stronger, but because Goku would have run out of energy before he could pull off the win. Goku using Super Saiyan 3 at the time resulted in him running out of energy pretty fast, even while dead, and Goku had stated this while facing Buu for the first time. Now this isn't the best example of Goku running out of energy since he only fought Buu so that he could buy time for Trunks to find the Dragon Radar. However, since Goku was in the world of the living and not in the other world, his energy would have been quickly depleted nonetheless. Goku had also stated that it was easier to handle Super Saiyan 3 while dead because his body wouldn't be as exhausted like it was when he faced Kid Buu as a living man. But again, keep in mind that even while dead, Super Saiyan 3 took a massive toll on his body and still ran out of gas pretty fast. So now that I fully explained that, if Super Saiyan 3 Goku were to face Majin Vegeta, who would ultimately be the winner? Well, it's a little tougher to say now because of the circumstances of using the form, and I still give the win to Goku personally, but once again, one can debate that Goku could have possibly lost to Vegeta because of the drawbacks of using Super Saiyan 3. Now, I know what y'all are thinking. Goku would have one-shot Vegeta, and I have to disagree there because this is Vegeta we're talking about, the most prideful character in all of Dragon Ball. Yeah, Goku would be leagues ahead of Vegeta in terms of power, but also remember that it's Vegeta's pride that keeps him going. I know that hasn't always been the case, but considering he's fighting Goku, the man he's longed to surpass at all costs, I highly doubt Vegeta would have just taken the L and gone home, simply because his pride would still demand that he gets up and continues to fight Goku. Which would mean that Goku would be burning through more energy and before you know it, he could possibly lose Super Saiyan 3 and end up losing to Vegeta anyway. Now remember, this is only a theory. There's plenty of evidence to show that Goku would win against Vegeta, but there's also a little bit of evidence to show he could possibly lose to Vegeta anyway. But that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and if you did, please be sure to leave a like on this video and leave a comment down below on what kind of video you want me to see next. Once again, sorry for the lack of uploads, but I'm back and I'm making videos again, so wait for another video for possibly next weekend or something and yeah just let me know what you guys think that's pretty much it for today everybody matrox gaming out peace